Hello, I'm Parvoni C, and you're watching The Bird Channel. My team and I are here with Project True, researching how urbanization factors have affected bird species richness and bird behavior at the Bronx Zoo. In settings previously abundant with native avian species, such as sparrows, cardinals, and robins, we're beginning to see how the harmful effects of urbanization are negatively impacting these species. Noise pollution and habitat fragmentation force birds out of natural spaces and disrupt their lifestyle. Several studies have been conducted to document how urbanization affects common bird species found in New York City. Although there are many studies on how noise pollution affects migratory and nesting birds, there aren't enough on native birds within urban green spaces. Also, there is not much research on how pedestrian pathways may impact the health and survival of bird species. Fortunately, Project Shoe researchers fill this gap. With more information is Charlotte in from the research team. Hey, for Bonnie, today we are here at the Bronx Zoo to pitch our project. We investigated how urbanization affects bird species richness and bird behavior in the Bronx Zoo. Our research questions include, what is the relationship between pedestrian pathways and bird species richness? And how does noise pollution affect songbirds behavior and bird species richness? Hi, I'm Evan Guzman, a research assistant with Project True at WCS. Today, I'm gonna to tell you all about birds. The zoo itself is nestled within the busy streets of the Bronx. With that comes rapid change to their habitat. The local bird species and populations are forced to adapt and change in order to compete with the ambient noise surrounding them. Their habitats become paved over and removed to make way for sidewalks and streets, and they're forced to compete with noise pollution coming from highways and neighboring streets. We conducted our research through the use of song monitors, which record bird calls as well as ambient noise. We are able to observe the effects of the ambient noise through changes in the frequency and volume of the bird's calls using Wildlife Acoustics Kaleidoscope Pro software. Along with the song monitors, we utilized avian point counts, which involves spacing ourselves out and observing both visual bird sightings and identifying calls to confirm species within the area. My colleague can tell you more about what we found. Scarlett. Hi, I'm Scarlett Salgado. Thank you, Evan, for that introduction about the bird project. As Evan said, bird species and populations are forced to adapt to the environment because of a number of urbanization factors that pressure them to, which can lead to severe consequences like a population decrease. For one of our research questions, we asked, what is the relationship between pedestrian pathways and bird species richness? We hypothesized that if there is a pedestrian pathway close by, then there will be a decline in bird species richness. As we analyzed the data that we concluded that closer to the pedestrian pathway, there was a higher number of bird species found. With this finding, we concluded that our data did not support our hypothesis. Although the 100 meter site was farther away from the pedestrian pathway, it was still closer to heavily trafficked roads and bus stops, which have high ambient noise levels and noise pollution. These high trafficked roadways could have pushed the bird species away towards the pedestrian pathways where there was less ambient noise. Overall, we concluded that species richness decreases in areas with an abundance of noise, meaning the overall richness of bird species in an area will decrease leading to less diversity. Hi, I'm Anthony Sesby and our second research question was how does noise pollution affect bird behavior? Our hypothesis was if there was if there is an increase in noise pollution, then songbirds will sing at a higher frequency and amplitude. Looking at these scatter plots, it was clear that ambient noise levels strongly affected the minimum frequencies of the Carolina wren, gray catbird, northern cardinal, and song sparrow. The average minimum frequencies found in our research were much higher than previously documented. As ambient noise level increased, the minimum frequencies of bird songs and calls increased, which supported our second hypothesis. This suggests birds can adjust to anthropogenic noises by increasing their minimum frequency. Birds can use different methods to mitigate acoustic masking, which is when the perception of one sound is affected by the presence of another sound. One way is to shift their singing activities to the evening. Another way is to increase the amplitude of their vocalizations due to an increase in background noise. In similar studies, it was found that birds sing at higher frequencies at high levels of ambient noise, which may have caused their vocal plasticity. And finally, our third research question, how does noise pollution affect bird species richness? Our hypothesis was that where there is more noise pollution, bird species richness and abundance will decline. As noise pollution decibels increase, 
number of bird species decreased, supporting our third hypothesis. In general, noise can be an effective predictor of species richness, where in one study, it was found that the noisiest parks had the lowest species diversity. Another past research evaluated that noise can reduce nesting species richness, lowering the overall avian diversity. Furthermore, it was found that noise pollution can negatively impact bird migration. Some birds will avoid highly noise polluted areas during migration, which can affect birds choosing homes and potentially disrupting an ecosystem's health due to the absence of these birds. Our study was limited by the time frame in which we conducted the research. As we work with Project True, it's only natural that the research has to fit within the two month time frame. The apps that analyze the recordings for bird calls that we use during point counts are also not 100% accurate. With these minuscule mistakes, it's expected that in any study like ours, there will always be a margin of error. I want to thank all of our researchers, Charlotte, Anthony, Evan, and Scarlett, for conducting research regarding urbanization factors that affect avian species abundance and richness and sharing their findings with Project True this summer. This study is important because it provides us with the reality check. We are not the only living species in the city and our way of life affects animals and wildlife all around us. Steady increase in urbanization introduces negative environmental factors such as noise pollution, which has been detrimental to the abundance of avian species in our city. If we continue on this path of mass development and urbanization, a large number of avian species may eventually become locally extinct in New York City. For all the negative impacts that noise pollution can have, it's important that local areas take action to reduce it. Up next, we have a video of a group of penguins from the Central Park Zoo smiling and waving at guests. You are watching the Bird Channel. See you soon. Don't you think we should tell them that the boat's out of gas? Nah, just smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. 